Okay, now let's understand some tricky circuits that is if we are seeing a circuit like this not like this let me draw the resistors also if we are having a circuit like this which is having one resistor R over here another resistor R over here and the third resistor R over here and this terminal is A this terminal is B question is find out the resistance between A and B on seeing this you might have a feeling that they are in series but it's not the actual case and in order to simplify the circuit we can do a simple thing that is A will have a potential and B will have another potential the potential at A it should be exactly equal to that over here why we didn't jump past any resistor therefore if this potential is A the potential over here it should be also A can I say the potential over here should be A no for that if there is a resistor in between we cannot say that this potential is equal to this potential but if you are looking at this point you just go through this wire and what's the potential over here it's also a why we didn't jump past any resistor therefore the potential over here is a means over here also it is a over here also it is a likewise if this is the terminal b the potential at b it should be equal to that over here and it should be equal to that over here b then if this side's potential is A and this side's potential is A, this side's potential is B, that's equal to potential over here, that's equal to potential over here, then you just mark two points A and B. Then between the A and B, we are redrawing the resistors. Let's consider this resistor initially. That resistor is between A and B. Therefore, I am drawing that resistor. This resistor is our this resistor. Then let's analyze the second resistor. This resistor, it's also between the terminal A and B. Therefore, I could draw this resistor like this then the third resistor we can clearly see it is between the terminals A and B therefore this is our third resistor then this circuit is like this now we could simplify it then now let's have another circuit if I am drawing another circuit let me draw it like this we are having four resistors in this case let's say r r r r or let me include a resistor over here also then this is our point a this is our point b our task is to find out the effective resistance between a and b in order to find out the effective resistance between A and B, we have to draw another diagram so that we could easily identify which one is series and which one is parallel. Let's follow the strategy. That is, we'll start from here. This point's potential is A. That means I could say this point's potential is also A. And since there is no resistors in this wire, we could say this point's potential is also A. Clear. And this point's potential is B. Can I say this point's potential is B? No. We cannot say the potential over here is B. Because there is a resistance over here. If there is no resistance means we could say this potential is B. Therefore, I will say this is another point. Let me call it as C. 
its potential is not same as that of B. It's another point with another potential. Let me call it as C. If this is C point, the potential at that C point will be exactly equal to potential at this C point. We didn't jump past any resistance. Potential over here is C means the potential over here is also C. Then in order to solve this, I am marking A, B. In between A and B, I am marking a point C also. Then let's reconstruct the diagram. Let's initially analyze this resistor. It's between A and C. Therefore, I am drawing our this resistor between A and C, small r. Then let's analyze this resistor. This resistor is also between A and C. Therefore, I am drawing another resistor. This is the resistor corresponding to this one between A and C. Then let's analyze these two resistors. <coughs> these two resistors, they are of small r and small r. They are between the terminals A and C. Therefore, I will have to draw two resistors between A and C, small r and small r. Therefore, these two are redrawn over here. Then, analyzing this resistor, it is between B and C. Therefore, I have to draw a resistor between B and C. Now, you can see this circuit is simplified. Now, you could easily solve this circuit. Clear? Okay, if we are trying to solve these two circuits, there's a circuit like this and there's a circuit like this. In this circuit, there's a difference between these two terminals. In this circuit, the this wire and this wire, they are, they are not having a direct connection. This is a gem, therefore, this wire is not directly connected to this wire. Clear? Then, let's try to solve this one first by using our technique if this point is a the potential at this point is also a and the potential at this point is also a as a result the potential at this point is also a we didn't jump past any resistor but we cannot say the potential at this point is a no there's a resistor over here likewise if this point is b the potential at this point is also B. As a result, the potential at this point is also B. And the potential at this point is also B. And now we have to define another point. And let's call this point as C. Okay. Then if we are reconstructing this diagram by A, B and between A and B I am marking a point C. Then let's connect the circuits into this diagram. We are taking this resistor. It's connected between A and B. Therefore, let me draw a resistor of R. And this resistor is this one. It's between A and B. And if we are drawing this resistor, it's connected between the terminal B and C. Therefore, I have to draw a resistor over here. It is between B and C. This resistor is our resistor over here. And this resistor, it is between A and C. Therefore, I am drawing a resistor over here. And this resistor is our this resistor. Then, on this resistor, this resistor is between B and C. Therefore, let me draw a resistor like this. And it is between B and C. Therefore, this is also drawn. This resistor is between A and C. As a result, we have to draw a resistor over here between A and C. And finally, this resistor is between A and B. And it should be drawn between A and B. I am drawing it like this. And now our circuit is redrawn like this. And by seeing this diagram, you could clearly understand these two resistors are parallel. These two resistors are parallel. We'll solve this and we'll solve this. Then they are 
series and we will solve that and the effective one is parallel to this and this we will solve it. Okay. Therefore, this circuit diagram can be reutilized like this. And in this diagram, in this diagram, if this point is A, this point will be also A. As a result, this point is A and this point is also A. Okay. Then, in this case, if this point is B, this point is B and this point is also B. Should we mark a point C over here? We have to mark the point on a junction. Is it a junction? No. There is no direct connection. Therefore, it is not a junction. Therefore, A and B is enough in this case. Then, let us construct the diagram. Let me draw A and B. Then, let us start with this resistor. It is connected between A and B. I am drawing it over here. This is our resistor. Then, if we are analyzing these two resistors, they are also connected between A and B. Therefore, I am drawing a line like this and on this line we are having two resistors. They are connected between A and B. This is also our. And on analyzing these two resistors, they are connected between A and B. Therefore, between A and B, these two resistors also. Then, finally, we have to draw this resistor. It is connected between A and B. Therefore, I am having another resistor which is connected between A and B. And if we are simplifying the circuit, we will get our answer. We will have to consider these two resistors are series. We will solve this answer. And these two resistors are also series. We will solve that. And the whole thing will become parallel and we will solve the answer. Okay. Then, let's consider another diagram. If they are asking you to find out the effective resistance between A and B, we will do the same rule. That is, this point is taken as A. Then, this point's potential will be A. This point's potential will be also A. We didn't jump past any resistor. Can we say this point's potential is A? No. It is a resistor. Then, from here, if this potential is B means this point's potential will be B. Can I say this point's potential? No. This point's potential is B? No. We are jumping past a resistor. Therefore, we will define a point C over here. Then, we will mark A, B and C. Then we connect the circuits. That is, if we are considering a resistor like this, this 8 ohm resistor is connected between B and C. 8 ohm resistor between B and C. Then take the circuit. This 3 ohm resistor is connected between A and C. 3 ohm resistor between A and C. Then Take this resistor, this 6 ohm resistor is connected between A and C. 6 ohm resistor also connected between A and C. Then, finally, this 30 ohm resistor is connected between A and B. Therefore, we have to connect a 30 ohm resistor between A and B. This is our circuit diagram for this. Then, these two are parallel. If you are solving that, the answer and this one will be series. And finally, the whole answer and this 30 will be in parallel. Okay. Now, we are having a connection like this. And if you are having a connection like this, they are asking you to find out the effective resistance between A and B. And in this case, 
this terminal is our B terminal therefore the potential at this point is also B the potential at this point is also B and the potential at this point is also B we didn't jump past any resist this point is A we cannot say that potential at this point is A we have to call this point as C then we will draw A B and C start with this this resistance between A and C then this resistance between B and C this resistance also between B and C then this resistance is also between B and C now our circuit diagram is simplified like this you could find out the answer for this these three are in parallel the answer is pair a series to this R resist This point is A. Let's take this point as B. They are asking you to find out the effective resistance between A and B. If they are asking you to find out the effective resistance between A and B, this case also we will mark if this potential is, this point's potential is B means this point's potential is also B. B, B, B and B. Okay. Then, we are not requiring a C point over here. This point is A, this point is B, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one finally here. And this is the answer for this. Hope you have understood how to use this circuit tricks.